This week on The Corner, we're going to tackle a BL Touch on our Tronxy XY2 Pro. Hey everyone, welcome back. It's me, Jeff. This is my corner. And this week, um, I'm going to look at um, adjusting the, um, the bed leveling sensor on the um, Tronxy XY2 Pro here. Now, remember um, our last video, what I did was... I did a model and I was explaining how the bottom layer looks a little bit wonky. Um, and that's simply because with the inductive sensor, what it's doing is it's just reading off of the build plate, the metal build plate underneath. And it's drawing its map there. But with the Tronxy, what we're doing is we're putting this fiberglass pad on top of that. So what happens is when you have this on top, even though it's making a mesh for this, the build plate itself, it's printing on top of this fiberglass plate. And if this fiberglass and sticker isn't as level or as equally level as this build plate, you're gonna get inconsistencies because it's basically, it's telling the printer as it's printing on here, the map it has for the aluminum build plate. And if this is wonky, then you're not going to have a good layer. Now you can solve this problem by using a BL touch because what a BL touch does is it will extend the probe, touch the top of the build plate or your sticker or whatever you have on top, retract, and it's actually reading this as opposed to the metal build plate. So we're going to tackle that next. All right. Okay. Here is my BL touch or Actually, it's my 3D touch. Go like that, so you guys can see it. Now, when you order a kit like this, it will come with um, wires. Usually, um, there's a one meter wire that you can order to extend. Um, and then it comes with a shorter wire, usually. So, um, and it comes with these DuPont connectors on them. But we have to attach to our um our wi-fi port here and this is a v6 board um i believe the v5s and the v6 boards um are hooked up the same but i'm doing it for a v6 board you'll have to do your research and figure out um what you're going to need now let me just open this up here i'll kind of show you what comes with some of these kits and stuff right um Usually, I tend to jam the um, the DuPonts in here and stuff, right? So, there's one, there's two, and there's a couple springs usually for um, adjustments and stuff. Okay, but, so basically all you need is your BL touch. And now depending, because the cables that they give you are female DuPonts, you're going to need male leads. Some of the kits that come in will actually have, um, you can swap the ends on them. So here, this is one kit here. Let me just dump this out for you so you can kind of see all these little bits and baubles here. All right. So there's a single DuPont male, but they also have I don't know if you see that. Yeah, they have the male leads, the male pins that will go into here. So you can do this a couple of different ways. You can make your own. I just use two four pin JST connectors and I cut them down and I kind of tape them together and glued them together and that will work. So you now have males so you can attach the cables that come with it or i have a bunch of these um for the breadboards um just for when you're testing wiring and stuff uh, i'll put a link below for all of this stuff um so you can have a look but these are basically um mail to mail links so you would just hook yours in to whatever port you want and then just attach them on the other side all right just like that. Um, I would use some hot glue 
once they're all in and set to kind of keep them there. But that choice is up to you. Now, now we have all that here. We need to figure out how we're going to wire this up. So depending when you order these BL touches or these knockoff BL touches, um, the 3D touches or whatever, your wiring may vary with different colors and stuff like that. So it's always good to just look uh, on the schematic on the back as to how it's wired up. I actually just wrote mine down here. So I kind of know what's going on as well as the pins that I need here. Here's my USB. Here's my Wi-Fi port. Those are the pins I require. So give me a minute here and let me hook up my colors and I'll write down my colors beside here. So I'll know how to hook it all up. Okay. All right, so this is basically just stuff I like to do. I like to map out my wiring first so I know kind of what's going on. This is an old dead board, so I'm just gonna show you kind of how this gets wired up. Um, as I say, my USB is over here. And then if I'm running through my pinouts for this, I would go uh, my signal, which would be my yellow for this particular one. We go here followed by my voltage into the second pin and my Z min, which would be the white over here. And that's it for that side. And the other side is just, if you can see there, it's just the two grounds. So as long as you have your two grounds hooked up, one and two. That is it. That is how to wire up the BL touch. Now, to run the BL touch, we're going to need to install Marlin. And there's a couple of tweaks to the Marlin file you need to do. So we're going to take care of that. I'm going to do this actually on my Troxy now and install it properly and hot glue everything and make it all work. And after that, we'll look at the Marlin setup, okay? So these are the um, files that look quite familiar because they look like Rhapsody's files, which in fact they are, but they are um, a side shoot. Uh, they're based on the work of uh, Remy Balagant, and I apologize if I'm butchering your name, Remy, but Remy figured out how to get the BL Touch um, set up on the Tronxy boards, at least as far as my knowledge goes, he did, um, like looking in the forms and stuff. So I just want to go through this really quick. So it looks really familiar to the old setup where you just uncomment for your machine. I'm doing it for uh, a V6 board on a XY2 Pro um, with no Titan. And I'm going to do it with the color UI. So that's what I'm defining here. Now there's one more thing here. It's um, defined BL Touch Wi-Fi slot. So that's been added in to this build of Marlin. So you want to uncomment that. And if you actually um, follow and find, there we go. So it uh, breaks it down. So it uh, has everything pretty much set up. Um, so that's all you do it's basically it's one click but there was one problem with the v6 board you have to go into config advance and you actually have to go to and i want to thank um dan for the help on this and i'm going to actually link you dan actually has a kit that he um sells through his shop that um he has a um, little pcb board um, uh, BL Touch and an updated firmware from this all in one package for you um, and I will try to link you to Dan later on in the video um, but here the defined BL Touch for software mode you want to make sure 
this is not defined just like this. This will give you a heck of a problem with the V6 boards. I'm not sure how it works with the other boards, but with the V6 boards, you definitely want to have this um, commented out, okay? And that's about it. You can just go ahead and build, or you can take the update CBD file from this particular file. I'm going to host this in my Dropbox. It's also online in the Tronxy forms uh, on the Facebook page. So that's it for Marlin. Uh, you can go through this all. Uh, always recommend you always build your own firmware um, just because that way you know what's going on to your machine itself. Um, but yeah, so this will get you started and this will get you your BL Touch going, okay? So I actually had an error on my recording earlier and I didn't get all these steps, but basically what you want to do is print off a BL Touch mount. I grabbed one off a of Thingiverse. I'll link it down below. You want to mount your BL Touch properly so it lifts above your nozzle. I believe it's about two to three mils that you kind of want. Um, and then basically remove your old leveling mount and just reroute your wires sorry all the way down the side here and that is about it you should be good to go with your bl touch so there we have it we got our bl touch all installed on our tronxy xy2 pro um, and that's going to give us a better probe of the top of our bed and give us better bottom layers however with these fiberglass mats um if you're probing on them and they're, they're kind of inconsistent they really are right so you're going to have higher low spots in between your probe points and that's going to throw off your mesh and you're going to see uh, wonkiness in the bottom of your prints now you've gone to all this trouble to install the bl touch what i would recommend is simply get a pei sheet for these or get yourself a sheet of glass and that's going to give you a really good bottom layer when combined with the bl touch okay so I want to thank everyone for watching. Um, if you're cruising through the channel and um, you haven't been here before, please hit subscribe. If you found any of this information useful, give me a thumbs up. Again, um, I'll um, put the uh, firmware uh, in my Dropbox. So you're more than welcome to grab it for yourselves. Go through it. Adjust it as you need. Um, now, oh yeah. So shout out to Dan La. Okay, he helped me kind of figure out the whole... Um, issue with the v6 boards in the config advance h file he actually sells a kit and he has a pcb board that slots right into the wi-fi slot gives you the wiring the bl touch and an updated custom firmware so a newer version of marlin so if you guys want that um i'll uh, leave a link down below where you can get in touch with dan okay and until next time everyone peace out